Less drunk. Retro gaming is a bit of a niche hobby, and the shoot 'em up genre is a niche genre. And within that, there are certain games that are considered cult classics, like the Cotton series, which has spanned eight different games across all sorts of different platforms. So to break that down a bit, we're looking at a cult classic game within a niche within another niche. In other words, March End Adventure Cotton 100% for Super Famicom is for as specific an audience as you can get. As you can see, it's a horizontal side-scrolling shoot-'em-up, or more accurately, a cute-'em-up. Ugh, I hate that term. Where you play as a witch flying on a broomstick with all the usual trimmings that come with these kinds of games. I should mention quickly that despite appearances, no, this game does not have anything to do with Magical Chase for Turbo Graphics, otherwise known as the game on that platform that goes for about 80 billion dollars. I should also mention that Cotton 100% was released for both Super Famicom and PlayStation, and it's the second game in the series, not to be confused with Cotton 2 Magical Night Dreams, which is actually the fourth Cotton game. Ugh. In these games, you play as Cotton, who flies around and annihilates everything in her path so she can get some of this candy she's addicted to called Willow, I think. I don't know exactly, but the story in games like this usually just serves as bonus content anyway. The Cotton series was developed by Success Corporation. Well, I guess that should be a market improvement over their previous name, Failure Incorporated. Nah, I just made that up, but Success Corporation has one of the strangest catalogs of games you could think up. In addition to all the Cotton shoot-'em-ups, which are weird enough on their own, they also made titles like the sequel to the platformer, Makeruna Makendo, which is nothing like the original because it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. They also made Ongaku Tsukuru Kanadiru, which is a Satellaview game where where you compose your own music, a la Mario Paint, and sound novel, Sukuru, which is kind of a weird choose-your-own-adventure visual novel. Seriously, you cannot get more eclectic than what this team made. They're actually still around and made two of the most recent Umehara Kawase games, and are apparently working on another Cotton sequel. Anyway, Cotton 100 for Super Famicom may not have the most broad appeal, but to its credit, it's an extremely accessible game. For one thing, it's a Japanese-only game where you don't need an English translation patch. There is some story here, but you can skip it. Unfortunately, there is no patch out there for this one yet, if you want to follow along, but it's not necessary. Now, in my experience, when it comes to shoot 'em ups there's always some roadblocks, like they're too hard, or they all play the same way, and they all blend together as basically just one game, but that's where Cotton Cotton 100 stands out. This game is pretty dang easy, which not only makes it a good game for people who aren't used to playing shoot 'em ups, but it serves as a great gateway game to help people get into the shoot 'em up genre. Everything is very straightforward. There's one hit deaths, and you get three lives and three continues to get through seven short levels. You shoot enemies, they drop crystals that power up your main attack, you collect fairies that add to your firepower, and you can equip three different spells, two of which blast the hell out of your enemies, and one provides a shield. You get a choice of what what kind of power-up structure you want before the game starts, kind of like Gradius. The thing is though, this game is probably too easy. Now, I'm not exactly going out of my way to look for insanely difficult shoot 'em ups in the vein of something like R-Type or UN Squadron, but Cotton 100% is such a breeze to play through, for better or for worse. Shoot 'em up veterans aren't really going to be all that interested in this game, but newcomers may dig it. Cotton 100% is also really, really short. Like, you can finish this one in probably 30 minutes or so. So yeah, Cotton 100% isn't exactly a must-play or anything, but it's a solidly made shoot 'em up that's a good way to kill a half an hour or so. The game consistently maintains a playful, cartoony atmosphere throughout, with all sorts of bright and colorful settings and enemy designs, but jeez louise this game is easy. I guess it helps that hardly any enemies shoot any projectiles at all, you just gotta make sure you don't accidentally fly into stuff. But yeah, if you're looking for something like Baby's First Shoot 'em Up, or if you just plain suck at shoot 'em ups and all always wanted a decent one to practice with, then Cotton 100% should be your go-to. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.